Well, hello there. Welcome to the Obi Thorn Alliance. I'm Jacob. And I'm Luke. And in today's video, we're doing the newest Godzilla X King New Emperor. If you like the sound of that, like and subscribe and stick around. So, more Godzilla content. We've yep. got a Godzilla show out. We saw a trailer the other day for a Japanese version of Godzilla. We've had heaps of Godzilla versus King Kong movies recently. So, more and more. So, where does this fall? fit with all the others or is it its own standalone thing? It's a prequel to the one that came out two years ago I think. Does it tie in with the show? Yes. So it's the same universe? Yeah. Okay so the Godzilla's galore. Godzilla obviously must be more popular than I realise if they keep bringing out Godzilla stuff. Yeah. What do you think of the stuff we've seen so far? I'm really enjoying the Modoc show but I'm um, there's quite a lot of content to keep up with and then there's the Japanese movie that I don't know if I'm gonna watch as well. I'm a bit impartial on Godzilla. I don't dislike it, but I don't look forward to it. I mm. just watch it and I'm like, eh, it's okay. I get the premise. Okay, let's see the trailer. Let's see if it changes my mind. Okay. All the ratings off the chart. For most of human civilization, we believed that life could only exist on the surface of our planet. Mm. Whoa, what's going on? wrong about. A world of things apparently. Well What indeed? A new emperor. Oh. Can't get stuck this on his own. He won't be alone. Godzilla. Oh. Take him down. So, what's your thoughts? Oh, it just looks weird. <laughs> Real weird. I, I, I like the original idea of Godzilla. That there's this giant lizard that lives under the sea and comes and destroys Tokyo. That's kind of cool. But this whole mutants living un inside the Earth's core and they're like... I, I think that's really wild, but it looks weird. It looks really weird. I'm not excited. What do you think? I think it looks fun as like a monster fighting movie. I think it's very much like Transformers. We've got to have humans because we're on, you know, we're, we're on Earth. But 
I think focusing more on the fights is really what we're there to be about, but how much of them actually fighting each other is going to be in the movie, going to focus more on the humans. So personally, I kind of wish the humans weren't in the movie and would just focus on the monsters, but obviously it's not going to be like that, even though it's called Godzilla X, Kong versus the new emperor, and obviously the other ape is the new emperor. So... I'm looking forward to it, but feels very much like they're having a new threat for them to team up. The previous movie was a Godzilla that was made by Monarch, now it's a new ape. It's like different things for them to beat up. I, I don't get excited by films that are just action and the storyline just isn't important. And I know I don't know what the storyline of this is going to be. It, it's, all, it, it's implied that it's about this empire of other uh, apes Thanks. but it's like do i care about that like it's not mm. it's not real and it's also not that interesting but it's just i guess you watch it for the action and i don't know cgi fights between oversized beasts it's not for me i think it's probably going to be one of those movies that isn't great but people go oh but it was cool i enjoyed watching them fight so yeah probably not gonna see this one excitement level out of 10 sorry i'm probably gonna go over five okay as always comment down below your excitement level be very curious to know as always you're awesome and keep being awesome like and subscribe there's videos at the end bye bye